Hey there friends, Martin here and yep, Christmas is coming again and with it I decided to create this new free tutorial series focusing on my character creation workflow. In it I'll be showing you how I utilize character creator, iClone and of course Blender to quickly make awesome character animations. The topic is actually based on a poll I published recently and there you voted that you want to learn how I use Character Creator, iClone and Blender to make animated characters like you see here in these shots from my historical project. First off, the elephant in the room. No, Character Creator and iClone are not free tools. In fact, since they are aimed at studio pipelines, they can get quite expensive, especially if you plan on buying its various extensions and bundles. Still, you can choose to download the trial versions of both iClone and Character Creator to follow along with this tutorial and if you then decide to buy them, you can use various discounts. For example, right now the Black Friday sale is still available, allowing you to save considerable portions of the cost. This, however, ends at the end of November 2021, so if you'll be watching this video afterwards, there is actually a special discount for the audience of this channel. Just type in Martin Kleckner, which is my name. Uh, so Martin Kleckner 15% off at the discount. You can just copy this text from the info below and you'll get 15% off. This discount is available till March 2022, when the new versions of both Character Creator and iClone are coming out. For the first several parts of this series, you'll only need Character Creator and then of course iClone when we get into animation. However, to export to Blender, you'll need the so-called iClone Pipeline Bundle, which among other things allows you to export in FBX format. So you'll need that to finish up this series but apart from that, I've stayed away from other paid plugins and content, so we'll be using just the built-in packages. With all this being said, you can now decide whether you want to invest in this workflow or not. I understand this is quite a large expense, however, I can attest that these tools are truly amazing. Two more notes first, uh, this is not a complete fundamentals course. This is a step-by-step -step guide through my own pipeline showing you the important steps but not really getting into every single button the software provides. If you want a really comprehensive library of tutorials for these two tools, definitely visit the official Reillusion channel. Second, this tutorial is part of a larger course I have released on my Patreon and on my Gumroad, breaking down this shot from my Heroes of Bronze project from creating the environment, to finalizing the characters, appending assets onto their armatures, repurposing animations and more. Definitely check it out, the links are in the description. Oh, and by the way, on all my Gumroad products, I'm also running a Black Friday sale, so you can just input this discount code at the checkout to get 30% off on all of them. So here we are in Character Creator, where I create all the human base meshes for Heroes of Bronze. And this is the default screen you will probably see when you load the software. This is a lady that will probably be there by default. And now let's make some warrior from this lady. You will probably not be too surprised by the layout of this software. Essentially, it is a very easy tool to learn and use. So on the right side, here you have properties and on the left side, you have everything that your software contains. So characters, skin, clothing, different textures and even scenes and animations or poses we'll have a look at later. So that's the content menu giving you access to all the different assets you have in Character Creator. But to be honest, I find it not the most user-friendly tool. Uh, something never really clicked for me with this menu, so instead I use this smart gallery. And this one I think is a little bit better organized in my opinion. That's probably why it's called smart. And if you don't see the gallery here, you will see that in the plugins. It's actually an external plugin that you have to install separately. Fortunately, you just download this one for free. Then you activate it in here or you just hit Shift F4 and you're in the smart gallery. From here you can again load all the content that your software provides. First folder are these projects and it will basically open up different people's projects with already clothed characters, uh, already posed and all. We don't want that, we want to create something from scratch. 
So let's instead jump into this characters menu and here you will see different folders uh, with different packages that you either bought or that you have by default in Character Creator. I think this base characters pack is the one that is free for everyone. So let's start with it. I myself have some other packages here that I've bought separately, but I will not use them in this series. All right, let's open it up. And here you can see in the subfolder, we have character, skin and makeup. And in the character menu, you have more subfolders where you will discover these morphs, uh, some different teeth, eyes, eyelashes, nails, everything that can make up your character. But let's take it from the top and load up some of these base characters that we have here. We'll start with Caleb, for example, and all you have to do is to replace this lady over here uh, with a double click on this. If, like me, you sometimes find this process to stop at 0%, that may be that there is a pop-up menu that you don't see, uh, because it is hidden underneath the loading screen, and you just have to press enter. This happens especially if you have multiple monitors, so another thing that helps is turning one of them off, and then your pop-up window should appear. Anyways, I was waiting for a while, all confused, and then I just hit enter, and it let me finally load the character. Okay, this is Caleb, one of the presets for Character Creator. Uh, I will add some clothing on him so that we don't see him nude all the time like this. Uh, Alright, so for that, just for the purpose of clothing him, let me back up and go to the cloth menu. And you can see I have all these different packages here as well, but there should be some base one again. And yeah, it's this CC3 outfit and accessory. That's the one that should be free for you. So double click it and you can load in different clothing here. Uh, let's load these boxers for now by just double clicking on them with your character selected. And now we can have a look at him properly. By the way, I'm holding down Alt and right mouse button will rotate. Left mouse button will push and you guessed it. The middle mouse button will zoom in and out. A handy keyboard shortcut is F. Uh, whoops. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> F will frame your character or anything else that's selected, as we've just learned. And uh, yeah, J will frame the face. Handy shortcuts for speeding up your work uh, with the software. One little note before we start adjusting this character is that there are different bases in Character Creator. We are currently using CC3 Plus base, which is a character base with great improvements over the previous versions of Character Creator. Uh, so we have these nice eyes with some little glints here, and we also have a better looking skin with nicer translucency, and overall everything looks more realistic. Underneath all this, uh, what is happening is we have a skin gen layering system active, uh, which is a special plugin, uh, fortunately free in its basic form, and it adds various different layers of textures onto each other, and all these little normal maps and muscles, little chest hair, veins and everything. Uh, I will show you how I use it in the next lesson. So what I wanted to point out is that there are the older characters, the CC3 base characters, and you don't really want to use those anymore. Quality wise, they don't really hold up. Uh, you can convert them if you load in this character. In this modifying menu, you will have the option to convert to CC3 plus version. But if you don't have to, I actually recommend using the pre-made CC3 plus basis as your startup. So anyway, we don't really want a default character, we want to change him a little bit. And there are two ways to do this. First one is basically like in the Sims games, in the character creation stage. Only this is much more advanced, of course. So let's head over to this Morse menu. And here you have various sliders with which you can change the shape of various parts of your character. Let me actually start with this full body. And if you want your character to have a completely different structure of his body, you can play with these sliders here. Preferably sliders for a male character, but yeah, you can create all sorts of strange mutants. Uh, don't do that. Anyways, you can see that this layer with Caleb body is actually at 100%. That's because we've chosen Caleb. Uh, but if you, for example, want to mix in Kevin, it's basically adding Kevin on top of Caleb. So it gives you these weird results. But down here, there are these different presets or morphs. And you can see, for example, with this one, 
you can make him thinner or more muscular. So these bottom sliders, I actually find that they work a little bit better if you already have one of these full character sliders activated. You can change the height of the character and you can see it's very easy to orient yourself in what these are doing. And really, there are sliders for everything on this body. So uh, shoulder scale and chest, for example, chest width, uh, waist. Of course, if I didn't record this tutorial, I would probably keep playing with this for a long time. It's really great fun. I like you know, in one of the Elder Scrolls games when you're creating your character. Only we are creating this for our own projects. So that's even better. Cool. And of course, then there is a special menu for head. So with that, you can play with various options for the nose, eyes, ears, anything really. Let's see. I want a more equiline nose with this little ridge. And there should be an option for that. And we can search here. Equiline nose. Whoop, yeah, nice. So don't forget, there is a search option here and you can always type in your category if you know its name. Another way you can adjust your characters is manually. We have this option in here, it's called toggle gizmo on and off. And if you activate it and hover over your character, you will be able to see highlighted different parts of it. And then with the mouse, you can basically just drag around those parts and they will change. And as you can see, this slider in here is changing as I'm uh, playing with the ear, for example. Uh, so I can make the eyes a little bit different. Rotate them. That looks weird. So <laughs> yeah, no, we don't want an elf. So control Z will of course undo all your changes and you can take these features and change them by just playing with the mouse. It's really cool. Uh, some people, me included, uh, I prefer going to the sliders and playing with them uh, because using the gizmo, I sometimes find this way of adjusting the character not that precise and a little bit too oversensitive. However, there is also a hybrid approach to this because anytime you click on these various highlighted regions, the proper menu in here will appear and you will see which sliders you are adjusting. So that's a great way to learn what's doing what in this menu. Definitely experiment using the gizmo and the mouse and see what different sliders are being changed. Woo! <laughs> no, smaller actually. Mm, yeah, or not. Well, a little smaller. Good. Uh, you can of course change the hand and thicken the forearms, uh, but we don't want that long a hand. So yeah, this is probably better. And maybe uh, larger muscles because he's supposed to be a warrior. And those usually have stronger legs. So uh, maybe bring this out a little and also that bigger chest. Okay, and a thicker neck. Uh, yeah, let's make him a little smaller. He's gonna be a real brawler, this one. Okay. Also, there are these different sliders in here. So you can, for example, adjust eyelashes if you want. Uh, eyelashes scale here. Oh, he's fabulous now. <laughs> but no, I want zero here. And angle of eyelashes. You can change the length of the nails, for example. Again, not something our warrior would probably need. But yeah, you can. There are options for other parts of the clothing or anything you put onto your warrior. You'll find it here in these morphs. Uh, for the boxers, there is nothing. But for example, for the teeth, you can change them a little bit. And that's a good opportunity to show you how to open up the mouth, which you will need to do sometimes to see what's inside. And that's here in this attribute menu, there's open mouth. Let's go back to the morphs and we can, for example, make his teeth a little bit more crooked. See? Uh, yeah, they didn't have perfect teeth in the ancient times, I imagine. Or you can make him a vampire if you want. <laughs> no, let's not make him a vampire, but we can definitely add missing teeth. Maybe a little. All right. Uh, and now we can close the mouth, I think. Uh, by the way, here you can also hide the teeth and you can have a look at how he looks with his eyes closed. That sometimes comes in handy for some general adjustments and seeing how he'll look with blinking animation. 
All right, so that's the Morphs menu. This may be a good opportunity to have a look at this top shelf here. So let's better deactivate the gizmo so that we don't adjust our character by accident. And also here you can hide or unhide the modify panel. That may come in useful when you need more space for adjustments. Let's leave it on though and we'll just make it smaller a little bit. In here there is atmosphere. Uh, you can quickly load in different atmospheres for your character to see it in different lighting conditions. But I actually recommend some default flat lighting for the creation phase. Uh, because dark shadows and harsh light may warp the look of your character and you'll be not able to judge its appearance objectively. Uh, while we're at it, there is a scene menu here and here you have listed all the things in the scene. It's basically like an outliner in Blender. Here we have the character, we have his eyebrows, this male bushy thing, the boxers, and then we have different lights here. By the way, unlike in Blender, when you hide and unhide them with this eye, uh, that doesn't mean that they will stop functioning. What it means is that they will just stop showing in the viewport but they will still be active and to activate or deactivate them you need to use this button so yeah that's something different from blender of course everything in this menu here you can just click on it go to modify panel and here you'll be able to change the settings of it that's usually pretty self-explanatory you can explore these menus and everything that you can adjust here at your own pace which i do recommend we have image-based lighting uh, the same way as if we had HDRI in Blender and you can load in different maps in the visual menu here, but let's not do that. Uh, I find it quite unnecessary unless you plan on making final renders in Character Creator, which we don't. Let's go back to the scene and the last thing I'll show you in this part is the camera. And again, you can change anything that you like here. We have some typical camera settings, there are some presets. Uh, you can, of course, go to orthographic mode and perspective mode and even activate the depth of field. But that one, again, you would need probably only if you were rendering out of this tool. Uh, so to be honest, I rarely change anything on the camera. So about 55 or 60 millimeter focal length is probably the most flattering for your characters. So you can just leave this setting. And with this brief overview, we had a look at the basic way to generate characters in Character Creator. And in the next part, we'll have a look at the Skin Gen Texturing tool, which is actually what brought me to Character Creator, because it allows you to texture your characters with amazing detail in the blink of an eye. So let's see you next time.